Joining us this evening for On the Record is our musicologist Eric Alper, who's going to chat about Backwards Day, which happens on January 31st. Yeah, you know, on Backwards Day, people normally dress up backwards, but I thought that because rock and roll had an a reputation as the devil's music. Some people took music a little bit too far and that meaning a little bit too literal because since the 1960s, rumors have been run rampant that famous bands are hiding secret satanic messages in their music when played backwards so they can destroy the minds of the youth. Now, sometimes (laughs) it's clearly unintentional. Sometimes it's on purpose with artists having a little bit of fun. And it's not just heavy metal bands that nobody knows. It's the big bands like the Beatles and Led Zeppelin, as we're about to find out. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Now, I don't really know about that, but it kind of makes me want to go out and smoke marijuana. So well, we started off with that one. That's Queens. Another one bites the dust. And Freddie Mercury's scat vocal at the end of the song sounds like it's fun to smoke marijuana when played in reverse. Religious groups have had a field day with this particular song. And of course, the band has denied Gee, it, which basically I'm... means it's true. <laughs> I didn't hear that in there. No, but I didn't anyway. hear it either. Okay. I never hear the back. It, maybe, back was anything. <laughs> maybe we should I'll be smoking marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Hotel California by the Eagles is an ode to the sinister yet seductive draw of Hollywood, and some of the lyrics might hint at an even darker power. If you listen to the song backwards, you might be able to make out words that sound spookily like, yes, Satan organized his own religion, (laughs) and other messages from the devil. And when I mean the devil, I'm not talking about Don Henley, because we love the Eagles. Here it comes, I got a lonely day. Playing the game I sail away On a voyage of Jesus Just the ones by snowfall I heard that. I heard that one. You he heard that is one. the nasty one. I actually heard it. He heard it. That's right. That's right. It's Eldorado by ELO, and the title cut from their 1974 album contains the very specific message. He is the nasty one. Christ, you're infernal. It is said, <laughs> we're dead men. <laughs> Everyone who has the mark will live. Now, singer-songwriter Jeff Lynne of the band denied all action with putting backwards messages into his songs, calling it Skabal, which is S-K-C-O-L-L-O-B. Bollocks. Yeah. Bollocks backwards. <laughs> so good on Jeff, Jeff Lynne for kind of treating it with a little bit of sense of humor, too. If there's a bustle in your head, don't be alone there. It's just a sprinkly for the May Queen. Yes, there are two paths you can go by, but in the long run, there's still time to change the road. Yeah. And perhaps the most hidden message of them all when it comes to fame, all of the connections with Stairway to Heaven and Led Zeppelin begin and end with guitarist Jimmy Page because it goes all the way back to when he bought the house of Aleister Crowley, who was a very famous Mm -hmm. occult uh, author and writer. And it said that Jimmy Page exchanged his soul for fame and fortune. When backwards, that line is, oh, here's to my sweet Satan, the one who makes the little path that make me sound sad, whose power is Satan. He will give them those 666. There was a little tool shed where he made us suffer, said Satan. Now, the <laughs> band and everybody completely denied this. There is no such thing as bad press, says the publicist. But in this case, the record label denied that 
and they even said that there's only one direction that our music runs, and that's forward. I'm still trying to figure out when there's a bustle in your hedgerow. Right. Well, that means right. anyway. <laughs> right. Try to figure that song out forward. <laughs> Let us know by email. Okay, we got to hear it, the Beatles. <laughs> The Beatles probably put more backwards messages, I think, on purpose than any other band. It started off with Strawberry Fields Forever, where John Lennon seems to say, I buried Paul, which is a reference to the infamous Paul is Dead conspiracy, which claimed that Paul McCartney died in a car crash back in 1966. And the the remaining members of the band put clues in their songs in order to tell the true fans what had happened. Why they didn't just do a press release, I don't know. <laughs> but there you go. And also, if you go through the whole white album backwards there's loads of messages including the very scary song revolution number nine when it says turn me on dead man turn me on dead man and there's only one thing that really turns me on is me being here in the studio with you two on what she said and you don't even have to play that one backwards (laughs) well thank you eric we'll chat with you next week on the record is brought to you by roar records proud to support the indie voice